So in this part of here, you want I want you to try to do this on your own, and so come back to this and check the answers. But you're going to use an equation to generate or the y value and the x y values and write an ordered pair. And I want you to graph the ordered pair. Now, if your graph is not giving you a straight line pattern, you need to check your work. You've probably made a mistake somewhere either in your plotting the points or calculating the ordered pair. Okay, so make sure you double check that. If it's not lining up, use a ruler. If it's not lining up in a straight line, make sure you go and double check that. So do this on your own and come back and check to see what, what your results look like. Okay, so I'm just going to plug in here. So I'm going to put negative 2. So I end up with negative 9. Oops, I'm going to do... And we end up with negative 2, negative 9. Okay, I'm going to get a point down here. Negative 1 is going to give us negative 7. Zero is going to give us negative five. Three is going to give us one. Okay, and I can see my my points are starting to line up in a straight line. Five, I get five, so five over five up. Okay, and I can see that my points are lining up in a straight line, so I know I've done this correctly. Okay, here I'm going to just add, subtract a negative 1, so I'm going to end up with 9. So there's my point, 8. This is just going to go 7, 6, 3. So really it's just going down by 1s. Okay, it's just going down by 1. Go down by 1. 5 over 3 up. So it's gone down by 1s. And again, going down by 1s is the pattern that we're seeing. And it gives us the straight line patterns. Multiplying by a quarter, we end up with negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So negative 8, negative 1. Okay, negative 4 gives us 0. 0 gives us 1. 4 gives us 2. Okay, it looks like it's going up by 1 every kind of 4 here. So I'm going to end up with 3 here. So this is going to be negative 4, 0, 0, 1, 4, 2, 8, 3. Okay, so 8 over 3 up. And again, I see my straight line pattern. It's kind of going at an angle here. It looks like it's kind of going up by 1 every 4 over. So here again, plug it in, watch the double negatives. It's going to be positive 8 minus 3. Negative 4, positive 5. Negative 3 is going to give us positive 3. It looks like it's going down by twos. So negative four, positive four minus three is positive one. Yeah, it looks like it's going down by twos. Zero is going to be negative three down here. And one, we end up with negative five. Yeah, it looks like it's going down by twos. And again, that going down by twos looks like it's giving us a straight line pattern. Okay, so double check your work there and make sure that you're you're getting the same patterns that I've gotten here.